Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Philip John Winger coming to you again another day. The happy time, hallelujah, brother. Philip John Winger coming to you again today. The happy time, hallelujah, brother. Hallelujah. Today I'm going to be in Acts chapter 1 talking about the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You can receive God's power. You can receive the Holy Spirit of God. All oh, glory to God. Repent, be baptized in Jesus' name. Receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Anyway, Acts 1 8. But you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be my you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, in Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the world, earth. You see, my friend, when you got the Holy Spirit, they took this message to the whole world. Europe, the Middle East, America, North America, South America, Asia. They went everywhere. Verse 9, And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. And a cloud received him out of their sight. Wow, he was speaking. And, and, and the way he went, he went, up to heaven. And verse 10 said, while well, they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, be, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. And verse 11 said, which, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken from you into heaven, so shall come in like manner as you've seen him go into heaven. The way Jesus went, they could all see him. And when Jesus comes back to earth, we're all going to see him again. Hallelujah. Verse 14. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women. And Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brethren, my friends, today... When you go to church, your Bible studies, be in one mind, one faith. Don't be play, playing with your cell phones, playing games. When we're praying, you pray. When we're reading the Bible, you pray. When we're singing, you sing. Hallelujah! With one mind in one accord. You see, in the book, in the book of Acts, lots of great miracles happen because the church did everything together, kept their minds, stayed on Jesus. And when they went to church, that's all they did. No games, no whatever. They praised God, hallelujah.